A scalable vector graphic, also known as SVG, is a unique type of image format. Unlike other varieties, SVGs don't rely on unique pixels to make up the images you see. Instead, they use vector data. A vector is an element with a specific magnitude and direction. In theory, you can generate almost any type of graphics you want using a collection of vectors. Take this image of a blue rectangle, which is a PNG file. If you wanted to replicate something similar using vector graphics, you need to generate it with XML code. So if you take this code and drop it into an HTML file, you'll see a similar set of rectangles to the PNG. Although both images look the same, SVG files offer a whole host of benefits that other formats don't. For example, SVGs are capable of retaining image quality as they scale up or down. If you keep zooming in on the PNG rectangle, you'll notice its quality begins to downgrade at some point. However, SVGs look good at practically any resolution. The SVG format is a fantastic option for logo design, diagrams, animated elements, charts, and graphs. SVG files tend to be much smaller than high resolution equivalents in other formats. There are two approaches you can take when it comes to SVG files. You can create them from scratch or take an existing image and convert it. The easiest way to do option one is to use a design program and export your art as an SVG. You can do this with Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, Microsoft Visio, Inkscape, GIMP, and the list goes on. The last two options are also open source, so check them out if you're a beginner. The other way is to convert your existing image into an SVG using one of the programs we just mentioned. If you don't want to download any software, you can also use online conversion tools like Vector Magic, Convertio, and Image to Go. You'll want to do some research to find the most suitable solution for your needs. As a rule of thumb, it only makes sense to use the SVG format for simple images. That is, images with defined borders and clean lines. The more complex the image, the more likely it is you'll end up with a massive SVG file that's a chore to edit manually or animate. When it comes to using SVGs with WordPress, we actually already made a video on the whole process, which you can check out. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.